Stories about labor unions top the news. 31 years ago today, July 1st, 1982, as you'll see today on Flashback, the news items also contained two big institutional names that represent the old Rhode Island, names that have since disappeared from the landscape. July 1st, 1982, efforts are underway to unionize the workforce at Electric Boat at Quonset Point. EB and Groton had always been unionized, not so at the North Kingstown facility. This effort, like several others, failed. Workers eventually voted not to unionize. And flashing back once again to 1982, another union lobbying effort. The union at Brown and Sharp had been on strike since the year before and losing public support. So they decided to picket Hospital Trust Bank because a bank board member was also a top executive at Brown and Sharp. The striking workers tried to hand out leaflets to bank customers in hopes of swaying them to the union cause. But the customers we talked to that day weren't buying. Now, I think it's outrageous that they're picking here. I think the bank should be left alone. It's a harassment to customers. I think they're stupid. <laughs> no equivocation or hesitation there. Both Brown and Sharp and Hospital Trust Bank are, of course, no longer on the scene. Years later, Hospital Trust was absorbed by Bank of Boston, which was absorbed by Fleet Bank, which was acquired by Bank of America. And the strike at Brown and Sharp continued officially until about 1991, when the union was dissolved and the company was sold. Hexagon Metrology now occupies the North Kingstown site that used to house Brown and Sharp's main headquarters.